Um, that's it. Oh, again, another. Does this guy have like a four hour podcast? <laughs> <laughs> gnarly questions. Well, I gotta, I gotta deliver the big ones. I gotta do it. It's big. They mad. They want the attention. It's above us. Stephen, Brandon, thank you so much for sitting and chatting with me today. Jordan Peele has been described as a director who has disrupted and redefined modern horror. And nope, a film that reimagines the summer movie with a new pop nightmare, the expansive horror epic. What do you think is the importance of Jordan's films in the current pop culture and social landscape? One thing that's always interesting is what happens when you have social media and the internet viewing us and us uploading ourselves uh, all the time to the point where um, what's performance? Who's performing? Is just the awareness of the camera enough to kind of aware of, to, be, to make you aware of your own performance? Um, are we performing anyway all the time? Uh, I think it calls into a lot of those questions and I think you know what's really great about uh, Jordan is I think he's making new classics in the sense that he's looking at things that we've seen before but shifting them a little bit in its gaze so that we look at them anew and also stripping away certain layers. Maybe not everything's hidden in metaphor. Um, maybe, maybe what we deem as social commentary horror that we kind of place upon Jordan is just Jordan like stripping a layer out of the metaphor so that it just is what it always was trying to say. Yeah, maybe maybe we're all a little bit less precious about the performance and we're trying to get to something more real and close to us. And, and perhaps Jordan's touching that. I think the most important thing about Jordan is that he's just breaking barriers in filmmaking, I think. He's taking a lot of risks that I feel like most people would fear when it comes to the storylines that he's delivering and the underlying meanings of the stories that he's crafting through films. He, I think he can connect to so many different timelines. You know, he can connect with the old film heads that are so into movies from the past and he can also connect with the young pop culture now with when it comes to the music choices he makes and the comedy beats that he has involved but he's such an art tour director as well where he can really touch so many different uh, bases when it comes to just humans. He's so good at attracting many different and diverse groups so it's uh, I think that's very important. Yeah, I love that. Uh, look, Jordan has certainly delivered his biggest and most explosive movie yet. He has described it as a spectacle and a way to promote the theatrical experience. And I think it couldn't have come at a better time. Can you tell me, what is the nature of filming a movie like this at the height of a pandemic, and then now bringing it to audiences at a time where they're not only rapidly returning to cinemas for big blockbuster Hollywood flicks, but are seeking these soulful, meaningful films like this? one um that's it oh again another does this guy have like a four-hour podcast <laughs> sort of gnarly questions well i gotta i gotta deliver the big ones i gotta do it it's 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 actually really uh fascinating to be quite honest you know when we we're making this film um we we're all very literally isolated um uh i remember feeling strange as we I would come to set and make this thing not because of the thing we were making but just the circumstance of life at that point but I do think that in doing that the vibe of filming it at that time really bled into the the the, the movie because I think the movie is also somewhat about isolation um, our desire for connection but how that desire for connection isolates us further in some way then it becomes even trippier for it to come out now, because everything turned back on so fast. I don't even know where I'm at, to be quite honest with you. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a... Dave. I think that's so great that Jordan crafted a film that's tailored for the big screen. I think movie theaters were very damaged uh, due to COVID-19 and the pandemic, I think. It, yeah, it shut down a lot of uh, movie theaters, and I'm glad that Jordan was inspired enough to try to save uh, cinema where he would get butts and seats with something big and he wanted to do something big uh, so he shot it on IMAX 65 millimeter cameras and the fact that he's 
doing a lot of things for the people is incredible. So I'm just very grateful as a fan, and I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to be a part of this historical picture. Yeah, that's so awesome. This really is a, a big love letter to cinema. Uh, what are you hoping that audiences take away from your performances and uh, from the film as a whole? I hope they take away more questions. Um, you know, I, I hope that um, it opens discussion and, um, you know, that you, you're, you're down, that, that it was a fun ride um, that made you curious about life. I hope that people can relate to Angel and Senses and answers to life that they would maybe need if they can relate to them. And maybe I, I hope that Angel gives gifts them some sort of answers that they've been looking for. Yeah, I, I hope that he can be the voice for the audience uh, where I hope that I've predicted correctly where uh, audiences would react because I'm... I wanted Angel to bring things down to a grounded and real place of just making sure that the audience feels like they're actually humans on this planet and it's not just a movie, you know. Um, so I hope that people are looking at clouds <laughs> uh, in fear. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know I certainly will be after watching this one. The movie's marketing, like um, all of Jordan's to date really, is incredibly cryptic. Um, in short, I know we can't divulge into spoiler territory here, but what would you tell audiences they can expect from the film? I don't know. <laughs> right, right, we, I guess we can't give away too much, hey? Yeah. You set it up with your question, so that's your fault. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll take yeah, the blame for I that one. Know. I totally did. How about you, Brandon? Is there uh, <laughs> is there anything else that you can give me? Um, let's see. What can you expect? Just expect um, oof, to be entertained in so many facets. Uh, expect to be a little scared, a little creepy crawly feelings. Uh, be prepared to be emotional. Be prepared. <laughs> Uh, expect the unexpected, I guess, you know, uh, it's not what you think is one of the big promo things and it really isn't. Uh, I just don't think anyone thought Jordan was going to do a film like this and, and the people that think they know, you don't. <laughs> it's, uh, everyone's been wrong. So it's so funny to see that no one's really guessing it properly. So it's so cool. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny when people are like, oh, you're revealing too much. And it's like, no, <laughs> you haven't seen it. <laughs> So it's it's funny that's how much is not revealed in this film. <laughs> yeah, that is so true, and that is an awesome answer. Thank you so much. Uh, Brandon, Stephen, thank you for your time. I've really appreciated it today. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.